Good morning guys. Well, hopefully we've got a really exciting day. Today's fishing. I'm fishing a new water. It's at Willinghurst. This is near Cranley in Surrey. 650 acres. Can you get that? There's between 11, I think, and 12 lakes and different ponds. And it's Saturday. The sun is out but we have got some clouds as well. And have a look at this match lake. I'm the only one here. Can't believe it. I thought this was gonna be absolutely packed, but no, I'm the only one here. There's another lake down the bottom that you can't see. There's quite a few carp anglers on there. I was talking to a couple of guys, both had a double figure carp out during the night each and they're here again tonight i'm just doing a day session but i cannot believe that this match lake is empty i can see a few dimples of fish moving around apparently there's all sorts of fish in here the peg well it's right near the car so i'll just get my gear out drop it down i'm going to set up the cameras Get the rod set up new rod guys brand new float rod give that a try <laughs> or just have a rod and blank no i don't think we'll do that though right let me get some bits and pieces sorted out because we need to find out how deep it is but this will do just fine this platform here yep yeah, this will be great right i'll be right back right guys quarter past 10 so we've just uh done a plummet on the depth I've got uh, a couple of BB down here we don't have to fish very far out we're literally looking where the edge of the uh, where the edge of the platform is probably about half a rod length out and you've got around six foot of water perfect so I told you yesterday I was going to get uh, a new rod so I've brought the adrenaline specialist extension compact rod it's 13 foot but for traveling purposes you can unscrew this and you've got about a foot of the butt that slides inside it and then you can lock it up so the rod then is split down to about six foot for the two sections so it makes it just a little bit easier to carry around so we'll christen the rod today um, it's one that I've wanted to get for a while, but had to work a little bit longer for it. So I'm quite excited about that. We won't blank. I've seen fish moving. The next thing we're going to do is uh, get some ground bait out there just in front of us. I've got some hemp and uh, I've got some, uh, <coughs> some nice silver fish uh, ground bait as well. But apparently there's quite a variety of fish in here, roach, rudd, um, I think there's some tench, might be some F1s, which are basically small sort of common carp, maybe mirror carp, but we should hopefully have a really good day. And there's still nobody here apart from the Egyptian geese. But I am so looking forward to this and it's super to have you along with me. So. Welcome to Fishing with Clive. Let's get some ground bait mixed up and start fishing. And uh, yeah, let's see what we can catch. And if we don't catch, at least I've got a new rod. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not having none of that. Of course, we can't fish the River Thames or anything now because it's the closed season. Um, so that's fine. Give the rivers a bit of a rest and give me a bit of a thought. I need to uh, up my game on the rivers big time, to be honest. So I've got a barbless uh, size 18 on. Um, the main line is six, because there are a few large carp in here as well. But these sort of places with murky coloured water, they're not really going to be hook shy. And this is a match lake anyway. And I've got five pound uh, hook length on the end. So. I'm just going to put this hook into the eye. We'll mix up some ground bait, give it five minutes, not too long, they'll soon be on it. 
especially as there's nobody else here. I really thought this was going to be busy today, but I'm super pleased that it's not. Right, so, ground bait. Right, no messing about with the ground bait. Got the water right, to, right down close to us, so that's easy enough. We'll get some hemp in there. Got to have hemp. Well, you don't have to have hemp, but you know me by now, guys, and my hemp. I do like my hemp seed. Sprinkling the maggots. Won't go too mad on the maggots to begin with till we find out exactly what's uh, what's going on in the swim. But as I say, I've seen fish boshing and bashing about, so I haven't forecast any rain today. <laughs> but I'll, um, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, I've got my, got my brolly with me, if it does. So we'll be all right. Right, let's open up the ground. I might fire a few maggots out around the float. I don't think, quite honestly, it's going to do too much harm. I said round the float. Oh, that's all right. Yep. The wind, I thought I'd gone too far. The wind pushed them in a bit, so that was, that was perfect. I would imagine this lake, because it is a match lake, is probably, I would think, quite often under a lot of pressure. In fact, I'm quite surprised because it is Easter, there's not a match today, but could well be one tomorrow, Sunday or Monday. I don't want to be here when there's a match on. I'm not a match angler, but I have a great deal of respect for them because there's so much you can learn from them about feeding and setting up hooks for different fish that you can learn a great deal from from a, a really good match angler um, even if you don't match fish yourself always worth watching always worth watching just to get some very useful tips from uh, for sure anyway let's uh let's see if we can get this swim woken up I'll be right back with you guys. Again, straight down. This is this feels like once again a slightly better fish. It's a they're uh, it's a bite of cast now, guys. Another nice quality roach. We can swing that in, I think. Yeah, lovely. This is lovely. <laughs> lovely quality fish here. So the plan is. She's working quite a bit bigger than the uh, the first few we had, but that's quite often the way it goes. Out you get, and yeah, and have a nice quality fish. Back you go. Wow, terrific. <coughs> well, guys, one o'clock. Loads of roach, loads of them. It's a nice quality fish as well. <sighs> yeah, so we've had plenty of roach, but what I have been observing to my left, not really that far out from the platforms, there's larger fish coming out and I'm suspecting they might be small carp and I'm very tempted, I've got some meat with me, to put on a small piece of meat and change my bait because I'm just going to catch these roaches all the time which is great fun but it'd be nice to get one or two slightly bigger fish. I'm 
very, very tempted. There's definitely bigger fish in here, that's for sure. But I think the maggots, <coughs> the roach are just intercepting the maggots before anything else moves in, really. So, I don't know, piece of meat on the hook, just a very small piece. It's not going to do any harm. Might be a bit slower, but if there's a chance of getting a better fish, oh, it might be worth doing. Still getting bites, I mean, I've got one now. Well, floats lifted up. It's going to sail away in a minute. But I have a feeling <coughs> that a change of bait might just get us something a bit better. I think that's what we're going to do. I mean, what have we got to lose? We've had loads and loads of roach, a few gudgeon. But I think we'll have a quick change. Try a piece of meat. Because if we get anything on meat, normally it's going to be a better fish. I mean, roach like meat, but... We've got another roach on now. I can't really avoid them, so let's have a chat. Right guys, so we've had loads of roach out. Nice quality fish, and I was still getting loads of bites. But I've seen one or two larger fish boshing out near the platforms. So, <clears throat> we're going to put on a very small piece of meat, close to the margin. Two or three times I've seen bigger fish boshing out. Didn't bring a knife with me, so I'm gonna to have to improvise a little bit. Oh dear. I think we'll manage. We'll work something out. But I'm not gonna get away from these roach. Um, as much fun as they are. We've had loads, loads of them. Nice quality, but let's see if we can uh, catch something a little bit bigger. I'm still going to keep the same size hook on at the moment. Piece of meat. If the fish wants it, it'll soon find it and it'll soon smell it. Chop up a few other bits. Old hands are going to be somewhat stinky, but hey ho. And we'll just. Uh, I'm actually going to boss this out to where we've been fishing for the roach because there's quite a few fish there. There might be something else just swimming within that area. I don't know. But let's have a go. Put a piece of meat on and see what happens. Guys, we're in. We're into a quality fish. I literally just switched off the camera and we are in. And this is definitely not a roach. It's a bigger fish. We are into a lump. Feels carpy, but it's not putting up a huge fight. It could be could even be a bream but it's a good fish we're into a quality fish guys I changed to meat because I, it looks like other fish, bigger fish, were coming on the feed. So uh, I'm just going to check my camera. Excuse me if I get a bit close. I want to make sure it's recording. Yep. So yeah, we've hooked a, we've hooked a better fish. It's not fighting like a carp though. I don't know if it's a bream, but it's a much better fish. That's for sure. It's not going like a carp. I think it might be a bream. It 
it's a reasonable size I think this is a bream let's get the net ready it's putting a nice bend in the rod anyway Well, if it is a bream, it's quite a good one, that's for sure. We've turned the tables, guys. We've uh, got a quality fish. I've seen a glimpse of it, but still not good old meat. Oh, it's a carp. It's a nice one too. A nice sized fish. It's a common, lovely. Oh, well, that's a nice way to christen the rod, providing we don't lose it. Shut up, Clive, concentrate what you're doing. Oh, it's a lovely fish. Yeah, that's a nice, that's a really nice common. I only have fine wire hook though, so I've got to be a little bit careful. <laughs> Try and get this camera up for you, so as you can see. I can't get his head up. Go, he's got a. There's a Sorry, a bend in the rod, that's for sure. Wow, cool. There's another fish just bossed out in front of me. There's another carp. Guys, the carp are on the feed and we're using meat. Oh, he's bossed out again. Yep, they're definitely switched on. Couldn't have timed that better. Let's get this one in. Certainly give me a good scrap. Oh. Come on, you beauty. In that net. Oh, that's a nice fish. That is a nice fish. A cracking fish. Yeah, jobs are good, and guys. Time to go for the carp. Right. Is this mat warm? No, that's all right. That's fine. It's nice and cool. Cool. Cracking fish. Wow. That's about four and a half, five pound. I think the hook's come out as well. We're in, guys. We're in. Oh, I lost one earlier. Slip the hook. So if we get this, this will be the second one. They're um. Although they are feeding on the meat, they're very, very tentative. I think basically because the water's cold and they're just kind of waking up, really. <coughs> Um, but uh, so nice to get a, get a nice bend in the rod though. Just putting the new rod through its through its paces. Staying quite deep. Definitely staying quite quite deep. Got a bit of a twist on my spool in the line, but 
Can't see that being too much of a problem. It's pretty much under control. Do like the action of the rod though. It's a nice mid-action rod. Seems to be handling handling the fish well, which is good. It's a bit bigger than the last one or not, I've no idea. I don't know. It's coming up. Oh, he's woken up, he's taking some line. Keep that pressure on. Remember with barbers hooks, just keep the pressure on. You take the pressure off, <clears throat> you've got more chance of it slipping the hook or the hook coming out. Wow, it's, it's quite a good fish, I think, this one. Might be slightly cool. Might be a bit bigger than the last one, which will be nice. Feels like it got a bit of weight to it, guys. Oh, that's lovely. So, so nice to see that curve in the rod and feel a bit of a weight. Lovely, wonderful. And still, not one person is fishing on this lake today. They're all on the others for the, for the extra big carp. No, he's fish. Definitely feels heavier than the other one. Just a bit worried about this loop in the line I've got here. Um, hopefully it won't be too much of a problem. Staying down on the bottom. See the float, but I still haven't seen the fish yet. Certainly not. Uh, Certainly not ready for the net yet, that's for sure. Oh. Oh. It's got some weight to it. It's definitely got some weight. Smart. I think it might even be a low double. Oof. Which would be lovely. If I didn't get anything else after that, I'd be happy. Definitely feels heavier than the last one we had, guys. It's refusing to come in at the moment. Beginning to might get a glimpse of it in a minute. Ooh, oh, there's a big one. Yeah, it's a good fish, guys. Good fish. Let's get the old landing net in position just in case we land it. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, we're going to. Oh, it is a good fish. Wow, it's giving me a giving me a good scrap.
Ooh. Yeah, this is a lump. Six or seven pound by the looks of it. Nice. because if it does that I'm in trouble keep away from there that's where he wants to get underneath cool this is uh, an epic battle Oh yeah, that's that's a quality fish for sure. Get his mouth up. Oh, that is a lump, guys. That's a nice lump. We've done well there. We've done well. That's a good sized fish. Crikey, that's a lot bigger than I thought. Wow. Gosh, that is a lump. Cool. Well, how about that? Anything else after this is a bonus. It's an absolute bonus. Cool. That's, uh, I reckon that's about eight pound. It's got a thick old belly on it. Wow, hook's come out by the looks of it, I think. What a cracking fish. That's a cracking fish. Let's get this hook out of the way. It's just in the bottom of the net there. What a cracking fish that is, eh? That is a good one. That's a, I'd say that's about eight pound. Mission accomplished, and some. Let's get her back. Wow, that's a big fish. There you go, girl. Thank you. Cool. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, guys, <clears throat> coming towards the end of the session, it's near 4.30. You've got to be off of here at this time of year by 5.30. So, um, yeah, but it's been a good session. Lost a couple of carp. Um, both of those slipped the hook. Those nice quality ropes we had out in the morning. A few little gudging, it's nice to see them. And then this afternoon, as the carp started feeding, a change to meat and uh, one of about four, about four pounds, four and a half. And the other one with a big, deep belly, very solid fish. Uh, although I didn't weigh it, I would say it's, I would say it's about eight pounds. Um, seven and a half, eight pounds. So, <clears throat> was it a successful day? Overall, yeah, it was. We have had a we've had a very good day. Lots of sunshine, which is nice, but it plays havoc with my camera and monitor because I can't see the monitor at all. The trouble is, you've got no shade here. You're right out in the open. But anyway, um, gonna try and catch one in the next seven minutes, and then uh, yeah, still. <clears throat> Still waiting for my uh, my other angling club uh, to come through, my authorisation and my ticket. I was hoping it's going to be through before Easter, but it looks like it's going to be afterwards now. Very pleased with the new rod. Really pleased with that. Uh, if you want any details or anything, I'll send. I'll put
put the links up where I where your comments are, just have a look out for those. I'll put the link up to Willingos for you. Ooh. And uh, yeah, so this is the match lake apparently I'm on. So you've got about four and a half, five foot of water pretty close out in front of you. But as I say, <clears throat> not a single person has been on this lake all day. Just me. So that's a rarity, especially on a fishery like this. And just want to say uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, hit that subscribe button and <clears throat> give us a thumbs up, guys, if you would. And uh, I'm going to see you in the next video. Hopefully, hopefully I can do one next weekend. Hopefully, uh, we'll see how it pans out. But uh, plenty to come anyway. So uh, yeah, all the best. Tight lines. Take care of yourselves, won't you? And see you soon. Bye bye for now.